Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Moore and I'm Sharice Gibson. A priest on the North Shore is the latest clergy member to be added to the list of those accused of sexual abuse of minors. The Archdiocese of New Orleans made the announcement this afternoon, and as Mike McDaniel explains, his entire tenure in the priesthood is now in question. St. Luke the Evangelist Catholic Church in Slidell is now without a priest after Father Patrick Watney was removed from ministry Thursday by the Archdiocese of New Orleans because of Watney's admitted sexual abuse of a minor. When did the Archbishop or the officials or the legal team know about Watney? Kevin Bourgeois with the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests says a big concern is the little amount of information. In a statement, the Archdiocese calls it a grave disappointment but didn't release any details other than the abuse happened in 2013. Today's news underlines the, the point that it's not an old issue. It's happening today. It's happening now. Ordained to the priesthood in 1994, Watney had seven different assignments in those 26 years. That raises a red flag of why was he moved so many times. According to the Archdiocese, Watney has served at churches on both the North and South Shores. He even served as chaplain at Archbishop Rummel High School in Metairie and Pope John Paul II High School in Slidell. If you were a student there or a resident there or a parishioner, if you have a family member that was there, you question, was Watney ever inappropriate with someone that you know or love? At St. Luke, one parishioner who spoke to our partners at the Times PICU New Orleans Advocate says rumors started going around over the summer when Watney was gone for a month on some type of retreat. Words like shocked, stunned, and angry are how parishioners say they're feeling. It's going to continue to happen, I'm, I'm sorry to say. Bourgeois says survivors are the ones bearing the heaviest cross and urges others to come forward. It's the first step of healing for one thing and to hold those accountable that abuse these individuals and also to hold accountable the hierarchy that protected them. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. The Archdiocese of New Orleans reported the case to authorities, but so far we're not aware of any official charges. The second Catholic priest to be removed from active ministry is Travis Clark, pastor of Saints Peter and Paul in Pearl River. The Archdiocese of New Orleans says Clark was arrested for obscenity involving women. His removal does not involve the abuse of a minor.